Welcome to the second part of creating a normal distribution chart bell-shaped curve. In this video, we'll use the chart that created in the earlier video to shade area based on certain condition. So if you haven't seen the previous video, please look for the first part, the normal curve without shaded area. And you will see that we have the data, we created the mean, or we found the mean and the standard deviation. Then we use the normal distribution function to find the normal distribution of the Z value for each one of this data, then we created the chart. So for this example, we're going to shade area under the curve. So for this particular example, I'm going to shade the area between, let's say, 30 as the left, 60 on the right. So these are the values you enter here based on which areas or which values you want to shade. X between 30 and 60. If you want to shade, for example, less than 30, the area to the left of 30. So you're going to enter 0 and 30 here. To the right of 80, you're going to enter 80 and 100. Between 20 and 40, you will enter 20 and 40, and so on. Here we're going to use some functions in Excel just to specify the area that we want to shade based on the values over here. So for that, I'm going to use the if function. And I'm going to say, if the area is less than 30 or greater than 60, don't do anything. Otherwise, if it's between them, put the value from the Z distribution. So inside the if function, I'm going to use the or function because I want either or. And we're going to open the brackets. We're going to say if this value is greater than the right, press F4. So when we drag it, it's going to take the other values. So or this value less than the left also press f4 close the bracket now the f function tells me after the logical test what do you want to do if the value is true so i'm going to put a comma and say nothing just return an error comma if the value is false which means it's not greater than 60 or less than 30 in this example then display the Z distribution. And you will see that here it shows me an A, but if I drag all the way to the end, you will see that for the values between 30 and 60, it displays the values. Below that or above that doesn't display anything. And this is the first step in doing that. The second step here is to duplicate this curve here. So I'm going to duplicate it. Okay. And I'm going to choose one of the copies to change it to the shaded area. So let's first click on the curve itself to select it. And you'll see the formula over here. So click on the formula sheet. So in the formula bar. Highlight it and copy it. Control C and it's copied. Next, click anywhere on the shade on the chart to deselect the formula. Click on the formula bar. Press Control V to paste it. And you will have the same formula that we copied. We're going to change it from series one to series two. So change the value here from one to two. Press enter. And now we have two area, two curves on top of each other. You see that we have the blue one, and on top of it, we have the orange one. To see that, right click and select data, and you will see that we have two series, series one and series two. The next step is to choose one of the series and modify it to have the shaded area. So what we're going to do here is we're going to choose series 1 
and click on edit and I'm going to change the Y values instead of the whole thing in the Z distribution I'm going to choose the modified one which is the area or the shaded area press OK and now I have this series which is series 2 and series 1 is hidden so if I just choose series 1 you will see that now you have series 1 on top which is just the blue line which starts at 30 and ends at 60 or the values in the Z distribution. The next step is to make this as a shaded area. So make sure that this is selected blue area over here and we're going to go to the design add chart element error bars and we're going to go to more error bars option and this is where we're going to change all of this so the first thing we're going to do is under the error bar format error bars we're going to choose minus which means go down we're going to choose no cap and under percentage we're going to choose let's say 80 percent now it still doesn't look like a shaded area and this you can change it to 100 but it will be down so let's stay with 80 for now Let's go to the other part, the fill-in line. And we're going to make sure that it's a solid line. We're going to choose the color. Let's choose the color. Make sure that it's the thick line. Make sure it's straight line. Make sure that this is flat. Cap type. And the joint type is round. And now what we're going to do is come over here and increase the widths of the bars. As we increase them, you see that they're getting thicker. Keep increasing them. So you see no gaps between the lines. And here we have shaded area from 30 to 60 based on the condition that we have. Of course, after that, it's just a matter of tidying it up. If you want to remove this uh, lines, you can remove the vertical line. You can change the shading area to whatever color you want you can change the color of this line and make it thicker so your area look nice and tidy with the shaded area now, the good thing about this worksheet, if you set it up the way it is, is that if I want to change the shaded area, if I want shaded area or X value between 40 and 70, for example, the only thing I need to do is change the values. And you see that it changes it right away. 40 to 60. I can set it, for example, 50 to 70. If I want less than 10, for example, or I want greater than 90, it's going to work with any values, except, of course, sometimes you need some slight modification. For example, if I set it 80 to 100 or 60 to 100, you might see some gaps. You might have to go over there and then increase the widths 
in order to fill the rest of the gaps. But you can just change the values here and you will have the shaded area that you desire. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos that will be added later uh, for Excel instructions as well as other videos. Thanks again for watching.